10 small changes the game desperately needs. Among Us is a wonderful game, but a few minor tweaks here and there will make it so much easier for players. The game Among Us has been all the rage lately for sociopaths and people who love lying, and we've even reviewed it as well. No wonder, because it's an experience that's really special and enjoyable. But, there are a lot of rough edges to this experience. There are several ways this game can be enhanced, and they're likely to fix anything we're going to list in the sequel. But, for content updates, it seems like the sequel has been scrapped, so maybe these fixes are not so far off after all. Pets should stick around. So many adorable comics, videos, and jokes have been made about this bug feature. We're obviously talking about the fact that after a person has died, pets hang around. Since all bodies dissolve until a body is found or an emergency meeting is called, which is ideal for the imposters. That said, anyone who pumped in a little extra cash and purchased a pet has a slight advantage, as their pet sits right where their body used to be and looks all sad, effectively ruining the slight advantage that the imposters gave these disappearing bodies. 9. Vents shouldn't animate if they're in the fog of war. This is something that only occurs on specific maps in a few specific locations, but players can actually see when vents in dark rooms open and close. We know players are able to hear the opening of vents, but this is different. For instance, on the scaled map, there is a vent in the top left region of electrical, usually a perfect map for imposters, that can be seen very clearly from both security and med bay, and if a player knows that someone is 100% in electrical, and then they see the vent open, they will probably know who the imposter is. It doesn't happen all the time, but it feels very wrong when it does, and imposters have just begun to absolutely stop using the vent. 8. Allow players to change maps from the lobby laptop. This is only a small quality of life issue, but it is straight up irritating not to be able to change the map from the lobby menu. It's unintuitive to have to back out to build a fresh lobby just to change charts, change the name of a player, or change the number of imposters. It could easily be included inside the lobby pod in the list of laptop settings, but for some reason, it's not. Again, a very small complaint, but it gets old pretty quickly, with the added step of sending the lobby code to everyone. 7. Let crewmates leave messages for mistaken imposter ghosts. How many times have players voted out one of their friends that they swore was their comrade, but it turned out that they were innocent? What if players hadn't choice to leave messages for ghosts, such as a sort of memorial in the hub area, cafeteria, office, etc.? Ghosts can go check out that way if their mates feel bad for ejecting them into the freezing dark vacuum of space, and when they feel cocky, imposters can leave notes there. 6. There should be a colorblind accessibility option. There are a decent number of different colors players can use in Among Us, but in the settings of a person, or in the lobby settings, there is no colorblind option, which is frustrating. In particular, provided that the menu of the emergency meeting, body report only shows a list of everyone and their names, but not their costumes. So, if a colorblind player memorized who is who based on their skin or hat, and not their name, when it actually matters during the discussion segment, it will automatically be nullified. 5. A toggle that forces player names to represent their color. A color name's only solution is another fix to the colorblind problem, that will also make it easier for friend groups where everyone doesn't know each other. Players would basically make this, and their in-game name would shift to whatever their color was. So, it will only be a list of red, blue, cyan, green, etc. on the meeting screen. We're sure that people have had this issue before the community used the actual names of people, rather than their in-game ones, and one person who didn't know everybody would be super confused as to who is who. I hope they would fix it. 4. An AFK timer for ghost crewmates. For groups of friends playing together, this next one is not necessarily a concern, but those who have been playing in public lobbies know this concern all too well. And, since this game just reached 1.5 million concurrent players, there are a lot of them. Let's just say that 7 to 10 players enter a lobby, put their skins on, and are good to go, to further clarify this problem. And, once the game begins, people figure out that they're not an imposter, and they leave immediately. And, if they don't, they go directly to AFK until they die, making it difficult for the crewmates to win by completing all the assignments. Similar to how games like League of Legends do it, a simple cure for this will be to punish individuals who quit mid-game with a timer. And a simple AFK timer that's toggled before the game begins, for AFK ghosts, will make players like this short job. 3. More customizable options. One big thing Fall Guys has over Among Us is the variety and degrees of customization. 
players can change their color, pattern, face, costume, and some awesome ones are there, emotes, and even their windscreen animation in Fall Guys. In Among Us, it's their skin, color, hat, and pet. It would absolutely add a lot to the experience to add some form of mechanic that rewards players for winning, like FG's crowns, or allows them to customize their winning screen, death animation, kill animations, or more. 2. Some sort of notepad to take notes. In every single game of Among Us, there's a lot of little bits of knowledge to recall. Players have to know the layout of the map first. Then, they need to know each room's names. Plus, they should know where all the duties are located and what they are called, then the positions of the vent, and it just keeps going. So, there should be a toggleable notes section of the UI to help hold small notes, where people can jot down short tidbits of information in between rounds or on the move. We don't think it should be like the main method of the town of Salem's, where players will see these notes until the person writing them dies, but even that could be something to play with. 1. An in-game voice channel chat. This is one of the best, and with good reason. In-game voice chat platforms need to be on Among Us. Why do they need it if Discord is just as good at working? Think of players who don't have to play with a wide group of friends, but still want to experience what of us has to bring. They enter public lobbies, and through the in-game text chat, which is much harder, they have to discuss and hammer out all the information. In order to function as planned, a game should not rely on a completely unrelated program, there must be an in-game way for players to interact vocally with each other between rounds, and so on.